What's going on guys? Patrick here from PatrickLawnRealty.com, powered by eXp Realty. And today we're going to go over the top six things you're going to want to do when coming to Kailua Oahu. So stick around to get all the details. See you on the other side. All right, guys, so like I mentioned before, today we're gonna go over the top six things you're gonna wanna do if living or visiting Kailua. I live out here in Kailua as well, so I can tell you personally, I've done all of these things, so you're definitely gonna wanna check them out. So let's jump into it. Number one, paddle out to the Mokalua Islands. Now, when you come to Kailua, and let's say you go to Lani Kai Beach, you will be presented with a beautiful view of the Mokalua Islands, which are two islands just out in front of Lani Kai Beach. Now, the beautiful part about this is you can actually rent kayaks just in Kailua and actually just drag them over and paddle over, and you can enjoy Enjoy the beautiful beach that's out there and it's absolutely amazing absolutely beautiful because you get the craziest view of seeing an island from an island um, the journey isn't too bad preferably don't go on a windy day although we are on the windward side so it's kind of hard to find those days but nonetheless make sure that you bring good food lots of water and you can truck yourself out there and enjoy a beautiful day out on the Mokalua Islands now keep in mind you're only allowed to go on the left island that has the two humps um, also, once you get there, you can also hike around. You cannot hike up, but you can hike to the left or hike to the right. If you hike to the right, you'll be welcomed by um, what I believe they call the queen's bath. Make sure that you stay safe. If there's big waves, don't jump in the water, but it's kind of like a natural jacuzzi or natural pool, which is really cool. And then if you go to the left side, we have an area called Shark's Pond. Don't worry, you most likely will not be welcomed by any sharks, but it's a beautiful little area that has um, a rock you can jump off, make sure you're safe, and uh, you're most likely going to want to bring some water shoes or sandals because the rocks can be a little pokey. So anyways, you're definitely going to want to check out the Mokalua Islands. Number two, go hiking. Now there's a handful of hikes and you can find a lot of them on the All Trails app, so make sure you check that out. Now one that I definitely suggest, and if you're an early riser, you should definitely do this, is hike the pillbox over in Lani Kai and do it during sunrise. It's an absolutely stunning view where you get to see, of course, the Mokalua Islands all the way wrapping around to Kaneohe and to Waimanalo, and the colors are mind blowing. You're definitely gonna wanna check that out. But again, there are a bunch of hikes. There's Mauna Willi, there's Three Peaks, there's all kinds of things you can check out. So again, check out all trails to see what hikes are in Kailua. So again, make sure you check out all trails so you can see what hikes you'd like to go on. Number three, local food. Now in Kailua, the beautiful part about this place is they're still holding on to the local Local feel of this place although we are seeing a lot of tourists come here we haven't had any big box stores other than Target but there is a lot of a local community and great local food just a couple off the top of my head is you can go check out Island Snow where they have some of the best shaved ice I've ever had on the island another favorite spot of mine is Nalu Health Bar it's actually run by one of my good friends and they have amazing food and great acai bowls um, really healthy options for anybody who's trying to live that healthy lifestyle and if you are a fan of beers like myself there are a couple great micro brews you can go to Lani Kai brew where they have amazing beer as well as pizza definitely check out Valentina's pizza you also have a really hip place called grace and growlers where it's one of those spots where you can basically get a bracelet and then you can just pour your own beer which I think is always fun just kind of allows you to be a little bit more involved in the process of drinking and not just sitting there and pounding beers um, and they used to allow you to play board games and stuff like that but I, I don't know if they're still doing that with COVID and then if you want the you know proper restaurant brewery experience you can go check out Maui Brewing and they have a great happy hour between 3 and 5 30 so make sure you check that out number four go to the beach now obviously we're in hawaii so you're probably going to go to the beach but it's important to know what beach you're going to and what are some of the best beaches because they're not all the same now out here in kailua we have two main beaches we have kailua beach and the world and infamous lani kai beach you're definitely going to want to check out lani kai beach make sure you get there early because parking can be kind of a scene or else sometimes they don't even have parking you got to hike in but i'm telling you right now it is worth the hike if needed because you will be welcomed once again by the Mokalua Islands and baby powder like sand and it's just crystal clear waters it's absolutely beautiful experience and then of course if you want something that has a little bit more parking and a lot more beach because Lani Kai can be kind of a small beach I think it's only like a mile long um, is you can go check out Kailua Beach which has about three or four mile strand of 
beach, which is very similar, a little different, but absolutely gorgeous. So you're definitely gonna wanna check those beaches out. Number five, windsurfing. Now, Kailua is actually, although it has one of the most beautiful beaches in the world, it is also a world-renowned spot for windsurfing. And we started to see not only windsurfing, but kite surfing and foil surfing um, with, with the kite. It's It's been absolutely nuts, but we live on the windward side, so we get a lot of strong winds, which now I'm not a windsurfer myself, but I see a lot of windsurfers out there every single day because we have such strong winds, which are nice for a breeze, but then also really nice for windsurfing. So you can actually get lessons um, at that same place that you rent from kayaks, and there's a couple other spots around Kailua. You can just Yelp it or Google it, and you can actually get personal lessons on how to windsurf, or of course, if you already know, just come on out. Number six, go golfing. Now, out here in Kailua, we do have a hand full of golf courses. You've got the poly golf course, which is nice and open and pretty easy. And then you've got something on the complete other side of the spectrum, which is absolutely gorgeous, but very difficult, which is the Royal Hawaiian. And then you also have something in the middle, which is a little difficult, but it's actually like a small course. You don't, don't really need to use your driver too much, which is Bayview Golf Course. And then if you are lucky enough to get on the Marine Base, you have the Marine Base Golf Course, which is absolutely amazing. It's called Clipper. If you know anybody in the military, you can get on. And there's also, I think, a way to get around it. You can sign up for Friends of K-Bay. So just Google that and check it out. But nonetheless, there are a bunch of golf courses out here. So you're definitely gonna wanna check those out if you are an avid golfer like myself. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up the top six things you're gonna wanna do in Kailua while living or visiting here. So do me a favor, if there's anything I missed, put them in the comment section down below or give me your feedback on those top six that I named. Also, if you guys wanna get more of this great content directly to your inbox, make sure you like and also subscribe and click that notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop new videos just like this. And also feel free to reach out to me directly on any of my social media accounts. Anyways, guys, you guys have a beautiful day. I'll talk to you soon. Aloha.